So, you're not particularly impressed by the standard page transition Elementor added almost a year ago? The one who's still in beta after 9 months and looks like something from 2016? Welcome to my channel, all you beautiful creative people. My name is Jacob Vingegaard, and today we are setting up a custom animated Lottie page loader inside Elementor. Now let's get to it. So we have fired up WordPress once again, but first of all, let's see what it is we're going to make today. So let's go to my test site and then refresh it. And this is the page loader we're going to make today. So let's get to it. First of all, let's go in here and then into Elementor and then down to the custom code once again. I've already installed the page loader, so let's trash it and make a new one. So press add new. And then in here, we call it a page loader. Like this. And then from the drop down menu, we're choosing the body end. And then we go to my side over here. And then we copy the code like this. Back to Elementor and then paste it in here like this. So now we have copied all the code, and first of all, let's take a look at the style code. Down here you have the background color, and this is where you're setting your custom background color. You simply just paste in the hex code right here. If you want to change it to white, then it's FFFF, and so on. Right underneath, you can see we have the transition, and this transition is set to a fade out, and at the moment it is set to 0.3 seconds. If you want to change this to, let's say, a full second, then you just delete this, and write in a full second. I've already decided that I like the 0.3 seconds, so let's keep it there for now. If we go further down in the code, you can see we have a path right here with a link that says .json in the end, and this is where you're pasting in the link for your Lottie file. So let's say we want to change the Lottie file in our page loader, then we can go into lottiefiles.com and find another one. Let's say we need this one instead. Then we open it up, and then down here we have the URL, then we copy the URL, go back to WordPress, and then in the custom code right here, we paste in the new URL. And now we have changed the Lottie animation inside the page loader. As simple as that. So let's go up and publish this one. We press publish right here. If you choose the entire site, then the page loader will appear every time you click on a new link and go to a new page. If you only want to have it to show up on a specific page like the home page, for example, then we go into the drop down here and choose a singular. And then from singular, we're choosing the front page. Like this. Then we press save and close. And now we have the custom page loader installed on our WordPress site. So let's check it out. We go into the test site right here, and then we refresh the site like this. And now we can see the page loader didn't hold on long enough to reveal the whole animation, so let's go back and fix this. So back inside the custom code, we can see down here we have two properties where it says 2000, and that means that the animation will hold on for two whole seconds. So let's try to change this to 3.5 instead. Like this, and then the other one down here. 3.5 second, then update it, go back to the test side, and then refresh and see how it looks now. And there you have it, a custom page loader with a Lottie animation right inside Elementor. You're welcome. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you're setting up a custom animated page loader inside Elementor. And if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, please write them in the comment section below. My name is Jacob Vingegaard, and I salute you for spending your precious time together with me in this video. And if you like this kind of content, please consider to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again next Saturday. I'm out.